Shalom, family. God bless you all. Thank you all for tuning in for today's property tour. And today we are at Bum Bum Newmark Homes here at this gorgeous model home that they just completed here in Bridgeland in Cypress, Texas. And we're going to be checking out the Versailles floor plan. Now this is going to be a four bedroom, four and a half bathroom, 4,379 square feet, two story, three car garage. So hopefully you guys enjoy this beautiful model home. As always, my friends, be sure to hit that thumbs up. It really helps a lot with the channel. All right. That would be very, very appreciated, y'all. And as always, my friends, definitely stay tuned for the good news towards the end of the video. You don't want to miss the good news. And this is going to be the community in Prairie Land Village. So, super excited to show you guys this beautiful model home. So as soon as we enter, on my right hand side, you have this beautiful study with these really nice, elegant light fixtures. And you got these two huge windows just bring a lot of that natural lighting. All right. And then as soon as we come on inside, we have this beautiful hallway leading up to the living room. And on my left-hand side, we'll have the abuela room which is a must have come on now you can't miss the abuela room y'all you gotta have a room downstairs dedicated for the grandma grandpa the in-laws when they come into town all right got a nice single vanity here beautiful massive stand-up shower We do have some guests in the actual house, so I, I am gonna try my best to <clears throat> avoid them and getting them on camera, so just a heads up. All right. My boy that's got her own little closet here. Hey, hey, hey. Very spacious and nice. And you got a lot of that natural lighting coming in from those windows overlooking the front yard there. <clears throat> and then on this kind of side here, we have kind of like a little seating area, hangout spot for you and the family in the foyer. And we have a nice wood burning fireplace there. You know, hang around here during those summer nights, roast up some marshmallows, you know. Or most importantly, when you have those carne asadas and the primos and primas are in town and, you know, they can be hanging out here causing all that ruckus and, well, you're cooking up a storm in the backyard. All right. Then over here, you're going to have a kind of like a little extra closet space here for your coat and, you know some extra storage and then right as soon as you come on in here beautiful spiraling staircase leading up to the second deck there very very nice and when you come on inside you have this just beautiful jaw-dropping open floor plan and you got the formal dining re dining room here on my right hand side with the uh very nice modern light fixtures and you got the kind of lighting down there up on the ceiling there which if you guys want to let me know what you would call that but i've been seeing a lot with uh with a lot of builders been adding that kind of undermount lighting and uh just really adds to the to the home and then look at this Oof. stop playing 
Look at this. Wow. Beautiful high voltage ceilings. <clears throat> Just massive windows bring a lot of that natural lighting. And then you have this really nice wood burning fireplace with the marble mantle. And then you have this uh, textured wall that leads all the way up to the ceiling there. Look at that. Beautiful open floor plan. Wow. They did such an amazing job here. Comment down below, who would be the first person you'd invite over? I don't know about y'all, but I would. Man, I'd be, I would tell my family, hey guys, I'm hosting Thanksgiving every year. I'm hosting, I'm a host every holiday. Cause this, I mean, it is just, this floor plan is absolutely just immaculate. I feel like they really did well with the way they laid it out. Very nice beautiful kitchen with the uh, I believe these are quartz countertops and you got these really nice elegant light fixtures lots of cabinet space as well kind of like a little dark gray color tone and then you got the uh, gas burner grill and you got your nice little pot filler, which uh, I had a client come into town and <clears throat> I was, she, her husband was there and uh, I was like, why, why do you guys need a pot filler? Y'all could just fill it up in the sink. You know, that's what a sink's for. And she was like, oh, you men, you don't understand. We don't want to go to the sink to fill up this pot. And I was like, oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> yeah, so I guess, I don't know. I guess pot fillers are highly desired, but you got this really nice farmhouse sink and overlooking the backyard there. And you got this beautiful, nice walk-in closet as well. I'm sorry, walk-in closet, walk-in pantry. All right. And I'm surprised that this builder hasn't, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see if, if they're gonna come out to Dallas anytime soon, because this is just, I mean, breathtaking the way they laid out this floor plan. And I, they did an amazing job. You got kind of like a little coffee station here. Set up your little cup of joe. You got the mud room here. And you're gonna have that nice three car garage right down this hallway. But just a quick uh, market update, y'all. So right now we're seeing a lot of builders that are starting to cater more to buyers because it is now shifting over to from just seeing the market into a buyer's market, slowly but surely. Um, so we're seeing a lot more incentives rising up in the market with builders. Oh, whoops, got a half bathroom here. You know, I like the fact that they use this storage you know typically most builders will leave it empty but they actually added a half bathroom here which is pretty cool and then this is going to be the master suite but yeah right now what a lot of builders are starting to do is offer really great incentives and uh obviously due to the rising interest rates and actually some builders are starting to you know offer such good incentives that can help you um, buy down your rate, which I thought was really cool. So just a heads up with what's going on in the market right now. You got the his and hers vanity. You got a nice, beautiful freestanding tub here. And you got this very beautiful walk-in shower. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. And you got a nice little towel closet here. And also big pro tip, y'all. 
when y'all go shopping for homes, you want to make sure you're mapping out, you know, which builders, you know, uh, I would say call beforehand, you know, call the builders beforehand to see what their availability is, you know, what lots do they have available, what spec inventory homes, um, because those are some things that I've been noticing that, um, oh wow, look at this beautiful master closet. Um, typically people will call in and usually, you know, when, when they want to work with us, they'll, they'll call in and, you know, be like, man, I, I tried looking for homes and I couldn't find any availability and this and that. And then I was like, well, did you, did you call beforehand and did you, you know, reach out to the, to the builders and kind of set up a game plan? Well, no, I just, I just went out there and started driving around. I'm like, no, don't, don't do that. Y'all, y'all gotta be. You know, set up a game plan. If you and your family are going out looking for a home, you want to make sure you set up a game plan. You want to make sure you you kind of map out the, the locations. Oh, I should probably get back inside because that is going to hit me with <laughs> copyright. <laughs> I did not know they had music up there, but... All right, let's head on over to the second deck here. <clears throat> Oh, look at this front door. Wow. Very beautiful. And then you got this really nice spiraling staircase. <clears throat> but yeah, your best bet, y'all, is to definitely set up a game plan before you go out there shopping for homes and really kind of lay out the different builders, you know, give them a call beforehand and Make sure that you're getting prepared. Oh wow, look at this. Beautiful second deck. Kind of like a little game room set up here and they got like a little, little bar station here. You know, get your nice little coffees or have the kids put their juices and whatnot. Nice little wine cooler there. Lots of cabinet space. And then y'all already know, you got the double barn door here leading to the media room. Very nice. Look at that. And then you got the uh, second deck patio here. Hopefully there's no music playing. Okay, look at that. Wow. Beautiful. Very nice. Uh, as ob obviously as you can see, the, the water right now is a little brown. Um, that's not how it's gonna stay, y'all. Just a heads up. It's just they're, do they're doing so much construction that that's what ends up happening. But uh, they might put like a dye in there to make it nice and blue later down the line. But this community, they just opened up not too long ago and they have an abundance of different pricing starting from I mean I've seen 400s 500s you know so lots of great opportunities you know you got the towel closet here and you got like a little desk area here oh, I'm sorry this is actually a bedroom this is little Tommy's room and you got a nice little closet here And then one of the rooms I won't be able to go to because they're using as an office. Okay. Show you guys this last room here. Little Sally's room. And you got a nice little bathroom for Sally here. Single vanity. Bathtub there. All right. 
Sorry guys, I couldn't. There was one room I couldn't go to because they're using that as an office and the gentleman that was there is, is uh, occupying it. But anyways guys, hopefully y'all enjoyed today's property tour. As always my friends, be sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you feel led. God bless you and the family. All right, let me know your thoughts on this gorgeous home. And uh, as always my friends, if y'all are looking to move to the Tejas area, we do have a type form in the description that you guys could fill out. Um, or you guys could reach out to the builders, whatever it may be. All the information is going to be in the description. God bless you and your families. And let's get right into the real stuff. What, I usually go to the backyard, guys, but they do have music playing back there. So, you know what? Actually, let me see if I can go to the second deck. I don't think there was music playing up there. All right, we're... <laughs> Come on guys, we we gotta make sure we go to the outside every time we, hopefully it's not too windy. All right, my friends, hey, 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 okay, we can, you know, chill out, have a little seat, me and you, what's going on? Oh man, these chairs are comfy. All right, y'all, let's get right into the good news, my friends. This is the good news. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son. And all those that believe in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. My friends, these properties are absolutely gorgeous. The builders do an amazing job. The architecture, the work, I mean, they are just God-given talents. And I just, it is just beautiful how they just make these homes. And the people that come together to build these homes, the workers, you know, the people that are out here day and night just, you know, uh, putting up the wood, the frame, the slab, all that stuff. It's a lot of work, guys. And when you drive to these construction sites, you just see how people are just, you know, out here working, you know? And so God bless them and their families. But let me tell you guys this, is that these homes are beautiful, but there is an e eternal home that does not come to an end, that does not perish, that is everlasting to everlasting. And that is in heaven, right? It is in heaven. All right, And if you put your trust in Christ and in Christ alone, he will give you eternal life, my friends. And I'm sure you're wondering, well, hold on. Why? why you know, why do I need forgiveness? Why do I need Christ in my life? What, what's going on? Let me, let me share with y'all something real quick. All of us have sinned and fallen short. If we look at the Ten Commandments, which we're just going to go over just a few real quick. We look at the Ten Commandments, and I want you to really be honest with yourself. Look at your life right now, and I want this to be a reflection. If you've done this at any point in your life as a child, and even till you are now as an adult or whatever age you are, all right, we're going to run through at least three of them. All right. Um, have you ever stolen, right? I have. When I was growing up as a kid, I, I've stolen many times. So I'm guilty already. That's that's just one. Number two. Have you have you ever committed adultery? Right? The Bible says that he who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery in their hearts. So I'm guilty of that. I'm sure a lot of you guys are, right? Lusting with the eyes. Because you've already committed adultery in your heart. Now, let's look at another commandment. Have you ever used God's name in vain? I have. And I'm sure a lot of us have as well in this video. You know? So that's just three of the ten. And there's many more. I mean, there's, there's thou shalt not murder. But the Bible says if you're even angry at somebody, you've already committed murder. Right? So what does it show us? <laughs> It shows us that me and you and everybody, we're all guilty. We're all guilty. And there must there is justice to be paid, right? There is justice to be paid. And God is a righteous judge, all right? And if me and you are guilty and we come up to, to into court, right? Obviously, we're going to be sentenced to punishment, right? It's going to be... It's going to be, we're going to go to jail or whatever it may be, right? And so that's why Christ came, y'all, is because Christ paid our sins. He paid the fine. 
he paid it in full on that cross at Calvary, my friends. So the fact that we're guilty, he will wash us away. He will forgive us. He will redeem us. That's why God sent his only son. And that's why it's so powerful. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son. And all those that believe in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. What does that tell you, my friends? Is that me and you, we all broke God's law. We are all guilty. But Christ paid the fine. We are free to go if we believe in Christ and trust in him and we repent of our sins, right? We will have eternal life, my friends. He will forgive us. So he will wash us away from all of our sins if we truly repent and we truly turn away from sins. Now, does this mean, oh, do I just ask God for forgiveness and I just, you know, continue to sin? But no, the Bible says, shall we continue to sin that grace may abound? By no means, right? We need to turn away from our sins. We need to repent, make a complete 180, right? Because y'all got to keep in mind, for the wages of sin is death. These sins that are around us, that tempt us every single day, they are leading us to death. And my friends, there's only two routes, right? There's only two routes, eternally with God or eternally separate from God. All right? So the question is, are you going to pay for your own sins? Or are you going to trust in Jesus Christ and what he did on that cross? Right? Because we all have an appointed time. We are all a heartbeat away from meeting God Almighty, my friends. The last day of our, I mean, our last day can be any day, my friends. It can be today, tomorrow, next week, next month. 160,000 people pass on to eternity every single day. The question is, when will your day be? And do you know where you're going? Right? So my friends, today can be the day of salvation, which is the good news. That's why it's such good news. That's why we need to rejoice and be smiling because it is good news, my friends. So smile up right now because Jesus paid the, paid the fine. He paid the ultimate price on that cross at Calvary. And he was he raised on the third day. And if we believe in him, we'll have eternal life. The same spirit that was in Christ Jesus. You got to put your trust in Jesus Christ. He loves you. He wishes none to perish, but to come to repentance, my friends. So today can be the day of salvation. Now, it is not a coincidence that you're here with us right now, that you're watching this video. You thought you were going to watch a property tour, like everything was cool. Like, yeah, man, I'm watching property tour. This, this guy looks pretty cool. You know, this house is awesome. Yes, these houses are beautiful, but I want to make sure I'm reminding y'all this eternal home that awaits us. All right. That's the real purpose of these videos. I, I, I truly hope that it's reaching the lost people out there um, because when I came to the Lord, I'm telling you, I was, I was, I was wretched. I was, I, I mean, I, I mean, I'm st I still need His abundant grace and mercy, right? But I was living in my sins. I was depressed, anxious, lonely. Um, you know, a, a, a verbally abusive person. I was just greedy. Um, so many things, y'all. But God forgave me, and I asked for forgiveness, and I turned away from those sins. And today, you can turn away from your sins. Today, you can trust in Jesus Christ and what He did on that cross. The day of salvation can be today, my friends. It's not a coincidence that you're watching this video right now. So if you're waiting for that sign, this might just be it, y'all. This might just be it. So look at Christ. Don't look at man. Look at Christ. Live like Christ. Be like Christ. All right? So I encourage you to close off this video. Read the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. All right? Learn about Jesus Christ and what he did on this earth. And... How much he loves you, he cares about you, and he wants to forgive you and redeem you and give you a new life. All right, you will still go through hard times. We all will, but he will be with you. The Bible says he will walk with you to the very end. He will be with you. He will he will guide you. He will lead you through good times and through bad times. All right. So please, I encourage you to close out this video. Go read the Gospels. There's some great biblical teachers I leave in the description, all right, that are just amazing, that if you want to learn more, um, I also have some great resources in terms of books. Um, there's, let me refer you guys over to the audiobook that I listen to with uh, the Bible when I'm driving around throughout the day, um, just to make sure I'm grounding myself in the Word. And uh, there's a, a great book that I highly, highly recommend if you're kind of wanting to learn more about, you know, about Christ and what he did on the cross and, uh, you know, the, the cold case of Christianity is really good. You know, some evidence in regards to 
Christianity and, and what Christ did on the cross. Uh, Person of Interest is also another really great book. Um, but anyways, y'all, that being said, guys, thank y'all for watching today's Propertory. As always, my friends, uh, definitely stay tuned. Oh, this is actually another good one by um, Mike Lacona. It's uh, the case for the resurrection of Christ. So some really great biblical resources, y'all. Um, anyways, y'all take care. I got to go. God bless you and your families. <laughs> Stay tuned for more. The birds are chirping like, all right, man, you got to get going, man. These guys got to go to sleep. So y'all got to go to sleep. Um, as always, all glory to Jesus Christ. Y'all take care. Thank y'all for watching today's Preparatory. Bye-bye.